Hi, this is Craig from DiddyThemeExamples.com and today I'm going to show you how to import and load up this free layout for a website case study. So it's just a one page layout. We have an auto scrolling screenshot, some case study info, the hover effect on the button, standard content content section and a customized tab to at the bottom so you can put your process your steps whatever in here some number counters button again for the live site and a contact form which as you can see the new contact form has radio buttons and checkbox you can also add conditional logic and other cool things in there. So we are going to go to Divi Library, click on Import, click on the Import tab, choose a file. So when you download from Divi Theme Examples, it will be in a zip file, so you need to extract the JSON out of that file. Click on open and import to build layouts. So it's quite a small file, so if you're hanging on 1% for more than 30 seconds or so, you've probably got something else wrong. So it should work like that and refresh the page, and here you can see it in your library. So, next thing you need to do add a new page. And we're going to call it Divi Case Study Layout. We're going to use the Divi Builder. <coughs> we're going to load from library, add from library, and here we have the case study. If you don't want your other content on the page, if you have any to be replaced, you need to uncheck that. If not, just click on load. And here you can see the layout republish and view the page here is your case study page so as you can see on this one this is um, the Divi layout demos install on Divi theme examples where I keep all the uh, Divi layout, so this menu is already there. So you'll either use your old existing menu, or you'll need to create a new menu if you want one, or you can just set the page to a blank page if you want it to be like this with no header or footer. So if you scroll down, there is a code module here. So this has the CSS for the hover for the buttons, which is this. The tabs. So most of the tab settings is done within the <coughs> module, but then we've added this hover effect here, tabs hover scrolling screenshot is this one up at the top and then at the bottom we have on the contact form so the capture and I need the title for the radio buttons shows up as uh, grey I don't think there, there wasn't a way to <coughs> change that in the customizer so just added the style here so you can keep this here if you want or you can move it up into your page uh, settings so you can add custom CSS in here 
so if you add it into here you can take out the style <coughs> we preview that it should be exactly the same you can see everything's still working um, so currently that's in here you can uh, also move it depending where you keep your CSS so you can put it into the whoops, into your theme options or if you have a child theme so you can stick it into here in the custom CSS or if you have a child theme you can put it in your style.css so however you like to work but either way the way it is in the code module will still work so go over to divithemeexamples.com or divilayouts.com and search under the Divi theme examples category and you can download this free website case study layout